Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the radius of this given circle whose chord is 4 units and then we see a 90 degree angle and we see another line segment 6 units. Once again, we have a 90 degrees angle and then we have a line segment 2 units as you can see in this figure. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here is our very first step. Let's label the points and the center. I'm gonna call somewhere center is somewhere here. I'm gonna call it O. And this point on the circle, I'm gonna call point A. This point on the circle, I'm going to call point B. This point C. And this point D. And here is our much nicer looking diagram with points A, B, C, D, and the origin O. And here is our next step. Let's extend B, D to make it a chord. Let's go ahead and this is our B, D. We are going to extend it somewhere here on the circle. I'm going to call this point E. And likewise, we are going to extend this C, D to make it a chord as well so let's go ahead and extend it all the way over here and over here this point i'm going to call point f and let's do one more thing let's draw a perpendicular from this point a onto this chord this one somewhere here i'm going to call this point p and as we can see that this a, B, D, P is going to become a rectangle and this angle we know that this is 90 degrees. And here is our much nicer looking diagram. And here is our next step. Let's consider this rectangle A, B, D, P. And here's the definition of a rectangle. It has four angles each measuring 90 degrees the opposite sides of rectangle have the same lengths and are parallel. So therefore, our this side AB is going to be same in length as this side PD. And we know our side AB is 4 units. That means our this side PD is going to be four units as well. So therefore this side PD is going to be four. And moreover by symmetry this side CD is going to be same as this side PF and we know that this side CD is two units. This is two units so that means this PF is going to be a two units as well. So therefore our this side PF is going to be 2 units. So thus the total length of this DF is going to be a 4 plus 2 is 6 units. And in this next step we are going to calculate the length of this side DE. We need to find out. Now let's focus on these two intersecting chords. One of them is BE and the other one is CF. Now let's recall intersecting a chords theorem. AB equals to CD where A and B are the sides of one chord and C and D are for the other chord. So therefore in our case this BD is going to be our A this DE is going to be our B, this CD is going to be C, and this DF is going to be our D. So let's go ahead and apply this course theorem to our this problem. AB equal to CD, let's fill in the blanks. In our case, A is 6 units time B. We don't know B. So I'm going to put down times B equal to C in our case is 2 times D is 6. 
let's go ahead and simplify that thing so 6 times b equals to 12 let's divide both side by 6 that means our b value turns out to be 2 so that means this side is two units so thus we know that this side bd is six and this side de is two so this total length be is going to be two plus six is eight units so thus our be length turns out to be eight units and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect point a and e Let's go ahead and do this one over here and here is our much nicer looking graph and we can see that we got a right triangle A, B, E. Now let's recall Thales theorem. If A, B and C are points on a circle where the line A, B is a diameter of a circle then the angle a c b is a right triangle so in that case in our case that means if we have this right triangle and these point a b e are on the circle then this a e is our diameter according to this theorem so therefore we conclude that this line a e is the diameter of this circle and here is our final step in this right triangle ABE we are going to calculate the length of this AE and since this is a right triangle so we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square Let's go ahead and call this side BE. I'm going to call this side A and we know this is 8 units and this side I am going to call side B which is BA and in our case this is 4 units and I'm going to call this longest leg C and we are going to find the value of this one. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. a in our case is 8, that becomes 8 square plus b in our case is 4 square. And we don't know c, we are just going to put down c square. So that's going to give us 64 plus 16 equal to c square. So c square equals to 80 let's go ahead and take the square root to undo this square so c is turns out to be square root of 80 so our c could be written as 4 times square root of 5 if you can see over here i simplified it so thus our diameter turns out to be a 4 times square root of 5. And we also know that the diameter equals to 2 times r. That means our radius is going to be half of that one that is going to be 2 times square root of 5. And here is our final answer. r is approximately equal to 4.472. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.